Grade 4 Math, number 47, Factors and Divisibility Rules. Some numbers have a divisibility rule. That's a rule we can use when dividing that number. 4, 6, 8, and 10 are all divisible by 2 because they're even numbers. Being even numbers is the divisibility rule for 2. See? That's 2's divisibility rule. If the number is even, it could be divided by 2. Divisible means able to be divided by. Okay? So, a number is divisible by another number if the quotient, you know, the answer, is a counting number and there's no remainder. The remainder is 0. So, it, uh, fractions aren't allowed. Okay? It's got to be a counting number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you can divide it by a counting number and there's no remainder, then it is divisible by that number, okay? So here is a chart that you're going to need to copy to your notebook. So if you need to pause this to get your notebook, then go ahead and do that. But this is the chart of divisibility rules, okay? So here's the rules. For the numbers 2, 3, 5, 6, and 9, the divisibility rules are on this side, okay? So here's the rule for number 2, which we just talked about. The number is even, then you can divide it by 2, all right? And I'll try to go slow so you can write these down, okay? The number 3, the sum of the digits the sum, that means you're going to add the digits up. The sum of the digits are divisible by 3 with a zero remainder. So if you can add the numbers up, like 1,110 would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0, that would be a 3. Then it would be divisible by 3 because we add the numbers all up together. There's no remainder, okay? So if the sum of the digits are divisible by 3 with zero remainder, then you can divide it by 3. You can divide a number by 5 if the last digit is a 0 or 5. Because you know how when you count by 5s in the 5 times table, every number ends with a 0 or 5. All the multiples end with 0 or 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They all end with a 0 or a 5. So if it ends with a 0 or 5, you can divide it by 5. Okay? Here's the rule for 6. If the number is even, so remember you're even in odd numbers. 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even. And it goes back and forth and back and forth, right? So if the number is even and you can divide it by 3, it's divisible by 3 with a 0 remainder, then you can divide it by 6, okay? You can divide a number by 9, if the sum of the digits are divisible by 9 with 0 remainder. So that means we're going to add them all up again, see? Like over here, we're going to add these all up to each other. So if you've got 1,110, that would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0. That's 3. Can you divide 3 by 9 with a 0 remainder? Nope. So 1,110 is not divisible by 9, okay? So you can pause this to, if you need time to finish writing this chart because now we're going to move on and I'm going to show you numbers that are divisible by 3 and you can help me decide if it works or not, okay? Is 15 divisible by 3? Well, remember we're supposed to add these two numbers together. 1 plus 5 is 6. Can you divide 6 by 3? Yeah, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 15 is divisible by 3. See that? How about 23? Add the 2 plus the 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 divided by 3 is a 1 with a remainder of 2. Oh, it's got to have a remainder of 0. So this is not divisible by 3. 23 does not fit. How about 48? Let's add the 4 plus the 8, and we get 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4, because 3 times 4 is 12. So yes, 
48 is divisible by 3. How about a big number like 724? Let's add them up. 7 plus 2 plus 4 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 divided by 3 is 4 with a remainder of 1. See, 3 times 4 is 12, and we need one more to get to 13. So because the remainder is 1, it is not divisible by 3. See how this works? You add them together and see if you could divide them by 3, and then you'll know it's divisible by 3. Let's try some 5s. Now remember, the rule says it's got to end with a 0 or 5, and 86 ends with a 6. So nope, it doesn't count. Not divisible by 5. How about 145? Is that divisible by 5? Yes, because it ends with a 5. So yeah, that one counts. How about 228? It ends with an 8. So no, it's not allowed. How about 630? It ends with a 0. So yes, it's divisible by 5. See? This isn't that hard, is it? Divisible by 6. The rule says it's got to be even and you have to be able to divide it by 3. Both of those. 124. Well, it's an even number. It ends in a 4. But you know what? 124 divided by 3 is 41 remainder 1. Look, how many times can 3 fit into the 12? 4, right? How many times can it fit into the 4? 1. But we got 1 left over. So it's got a remainder of 1, so no, 124 is not divisible by 6, okay, because it's not divisible by 3. How about 180? It's an even number. It ends in a 0, so that's good. Is it divisible by 3? How many 3's can you put in 18? 6. 6 times 3 is 18. We add the 0, and it's divisible by 3 because it equals 60. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So yes, this one fits. It is divisible by 6. It's even and divisible by 3, so it's divisible by 6. How about this one, 549? It's not an even number. It ends with a 9, so nope, not allowed. How about 612? It's an even number. It ends with a 2. Is it divisible by 3? How many 3's fit into 6? 2. How many 3's fit into the 1? None. But how many 3's can fit into a 12? 4. So if you had 204 plus 204 plus 204, you'd have 612. So yes, it is divisible by 6 because it's even and you can divide it by 3. So it counts. All right. So the rule for 9 was the sum of the digits can be divided by 9 with a zero remainder. So we have to add them up again, okay? So 81, we add the 8 plus the 1. It equals 9. Can you divide 9 by 9? Yeah, and it equals 1. Any number divided to itself is 1. How about 234? Let's add the 2 plus the 3 plus the 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. And we've got 9 divided by 9 again. So yes, 234 can be, is divisible by 9. All the digits added up are divisible by 9, and there's a 0 remainder. How about 611? We add the 6 plus the 1 plus the 1, and we get 8. 8 divided by 3 is 2, and we have 2 left over. So nope. No remainders allowed, so that one is not divisible by 9. How about this one? Is it divisible by 9? We've got 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3. We just add them up going straight across. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 1 more is 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, and 9 divided by 9 is 1, so yes, 1,413 is divisible by 9. So, those are the divisibility rules and factors, okay? Make sure you copy this chart because it's going to be very helpful to you in the future, all right? It's going to be very helpful. 
And for those of you who have finished writing this chart down, I can show you this while the other ones are writing the chart. Do you see this chart right here? Did you know that every 9 times table product equals 9? 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18, because 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. And 4 plus 5 is 9. They all equal 9. Even 9 times 10 is 9 plus 0. That equals 9. And you know what's funny? Look at this also. Look at how the numbers go in the ones place. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And this way they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Isn't the 9 times table weird? Okay, so I hope you have enough time to have written down the divisibility rules. And we're going to continue talking about factors and multiples. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.